today I'm going to be cover this um, canvas and I'm actually use this canvas to teach a lesson um, for a painting lesson for um, one of my brave lessons for my youth and I'm using this wreath doing this canvas here and uh, yeah I decided to paint over it but I'm going to use the background to my advantage so I'm getting some kind of um, this color here, I'm using Deco Art Paints. This is Beach Sam. This one's Burlap. And I'm going to try to get some of these colors down here to paint a face. This is sand. So one's Beach Sand and this is just sand. So it's just different tones. And I am going to use um, these to kind of make my base a bit here so I'm not really I'm just gonna go like right over it I'm not really gonna worry about the background anymore so I'm just going over this here I'm gonna make kind of the eye area and I'm gonna use the background like I said to my advantage and I know I got <clears throat> the cheekbone area And the nose, which I'm going to kind of do this with. So I'm just trying to try and get kind of the feel of a face happening here. And the chin area. So you guys can kind of see me build up a face from this just like that now of course I'm gonna have to have like eyes and that kind of thing so I'm just gonna go over this And I got the mixture happening here, and I'm just kind of playing with it. There's lots of texture in this technique because there's lots of background here. So, just doing kind of a neck part here. So this is going to kind of get some more color in it as well over what I'm doing here. And here we go. This is kind of the layout of my face. Now I'm going to grab different colors here and just put them in. I'm looking for my red. I've got a rosy color here. So I'm going to throw in my rosy directly on the canvas just because see how that works because I want to have kind of a rosy cheek I need some lips and so I'm going to do that I'll kind of play with it I'm just trying to make the uh, facial expressions develop. I'm wiping my, my brush off as well on a um, piece of towel. And I'm going to grab black. And I'm going to try to get just a barely some black on my brush here. Now what I'm trying to do is get a little bit of some features going on here. And this all can kind of get corrected. I'm not too worried about it yet. Still just building up. This is all mixed media. This is all, um, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. That 
kind of thing. So now I'm just going to kind of blend my cheekbone colors in here. And I've got a little bit of the black on my brush. And notice I'm just kind of getting a dirty brush. And I'm just going to work my way down a bit. And just kind of bring different colors to different places on my work here. I'm still using the same brush and I'm just going over. So I'm just play with it. Have some total fun with it. This is uh, just enjoying it, enjoying the process, making a kind of a big lip and I want a smiley kind of face so I'm making, you know, lips kind of go up. Getting some more features in. Now I'm just going to add some shading and that kind of thing. I might add a little bit of blue. And this is just blue, chevron blue. And you know, you guys could just kind of go with your colors and play with them a bit and um, add things and take away and that kind of thing. I'm going to go in with a darker blue. Uh, Indian turquoise. Just want to give this face a little bit more depth. So I can play with it a little bit more. I'm just still using this wedge or this um, angle brush. I'm just really having fun with it. Still, really, even haven't even cleaned my brush too much. Just a little bit with my napkin here or my paper towel. Now I'm just kind of blending in some colors. See how I haven't even really. Um, decided like just went on the picture I didn't even worry about the background now I'm going to actually make some of this blend in a little bit more playing with it, just having so much fun and moving it around. Now the background could just totally stay crazy or whatever. Now I'm going to put a bit of a darkness here. And there she is. I like her. She's come to life. And 
And that is what I have. So now I'm just kind of making some marks down here. Using some of my paint up to make some kind of head cover here or something. So. primary blue. I don't think this one's open. Okay. Darken up a little bit around her face and stuff. Just around here. coming along. A little messy splash there. I'll fix that up. This is my abstract um, girl here, woman. brush here and now I'm just going to go in with some browns and it's not quite dry or anything like that. I just want to get a kind of getting some black on here. That's not good. Fix that up. Kind of want to get almost like a brown smoky eye thing happening. just to spread that and grab a newer cloth I want to look a little old so that's why I'm going with that one and I'm just gonna go in with her eye Does she look like she's coming to you guys yet? Like, kind of coming alive? In the... Let me get a little bit more of the antique rose. I just kind of want to get a little bit more antique rose around her eye. not doing the white out of her eye. Not quite the same as normal. I might go in and get a little bit happening, but I want to dull it right out. Just like that. Doll it right out. Now to make her lips look a little bit more realistic. I don't like them just to be 
like this. But I'm going to have to cover them up again. I'm really not being careful with the color in it is because it looks to me I really like the look of it just kind of blending with different colors a little bit as long as it's not turning into mud and it's not doing that for me so it's working to my advantage what I want and I think I mean I'm gonna keep doing it if that's what works for me so now I'm trying to get some of this a little bit lighter here isn't that crazy it looks good it's like weird techniques but it looks to me it looks good unless I need <laughs> different eye, eye, uh, eye check or something <laughs> but to me to me I like it so hey okay let's see what I'm gonna do with her nose with improve this Gotta prove this a little bit here. And there's just a lot of there's kind of gotta be some shading and then um, lightening it up after I think to get just the look that I'm looking for. And then you get the nice streaks of the blue in there. That's the whole point of abstract. It's crazy. And I got this um, blue. Which one was it? Going in here, the blue chevron, and it's looking really nice. drop of sand because I don't really want the blue too much out here. Got a little bit of black on there, but that's okay. Just see how we go with it. See? Don't sweat the small stuff. So now we just have to kind of make this blue look like a little bit of shading here under her nose. And I think I want to pull in a little bit more brightness here. And then she's looking great. I'm going to throw in a little bit of, I think I need some yellow in there like golden straw guys must be thinking I am crazy and look at that background I love it so I'm going to throw in some golden straw and I'm using my smaller uh, angle brush again still so and I'm just playing with her face trying to make her I don't know look great to me and you guys do whatever you want but look at all these colors and it looks good it works it does work just keep going till you feel comfortable I'm trying to get the feel of an old um, Madonna type of picture, uh, you know, uh, and that's kind of the feel I'm going for. Not particularly the picture of, of Mary, but just kind of the feel of that. 
old type of um, thing. They had um, nurses, you know, that t took care of the children uh, in royalty and that kind of thing. And I would kind of see is this person being somebody like a nanny or a nurse, you know, years ago taking care of royalty children. And that's what I'm going with. Just the face of that in my mind and got the head covering she's working you know and the that's the whole idea behind this one um yeah and I'm kind of liking it quite a bit Add a little bit, make orange in here a bit. I'm blending it, just kind of going around in circles with my brush. And that's it. I'm having fun with it. And there's her eyes. A little bit of orange. A little bit of yellow going in there to make that. Pulling it down. See? It's perfect. It doesn't have to be your regular color. It could just be whatever and have fun with it. As long as you're enjoying yourself. I'm going to throw in a little brown in here. I think it's all good. Just pulling in a little brown for this side. And maybe I've got a little black. It's okay. Play with it and work with it. A little bit of yellow and blue in here, and it's going to be like kind of the shadier side. My bird is going crazy up there. Here she is, guys. I hope you like her. It's kind of a long video. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of my page. They usually have cloth wrapped around their neck. Uh, the nurses, the nuns type nurses. And, uh, yeah. Covered. Fully covered. And... That is my project for today. Hope you like her, guys. And this is her. And I don't really have a title for her. I just think that this is what she is. She's just, you know, caregiver. And might have to give her a little bit better eyebrows. What black I still have left? A little brown on top.
there you go guys I hope you enjoyed my girl and I think I might just keep the rest of the canvas just like that so don't forget to craft like a duck and I guess I will talk to you guys again soon and this is our don't know how much more details I'm gonna put I think I really happy with her you know maybe a few things here and there fix up but I think that she's pretty good Bye now. I think just to finish it up, I'm going to add oh, a little gold. I'm going to, I was going to add lusters, but my gold is really dry on that one. So I'm going to add a little bit of gold to my edging all the way around. Just like... And brush it on, not too careful. I might add some to my outer edge as well, but right now I'm just kind of getting it to frame her face a little bit. And that's about it. And yeah, I think I'll just probably do the edge a little bit too just adding a little gold to her why not it's gonna show some nice sheen
not usual, but to put on her face, but I am just going to do it a little bit. And that is it, because that's what I feel like doing. So, yeah. Why not? And there we go. Complete. Again, guys, don't forget to craft like a duck. I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Bye.